Welcome to the latest edition of Z Code System here on YouTube. Drew coming at you, and today we are going to be talking about the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, which is coming up not too far from now in July and August, and it's a great time, another great major soccer tournament to wager on and to, if you're going to be betting now, going ahead and locking in your outright winner's bet and locking in the value on those wagers. And we're going to take a look at the outright winner's odds coming up for the tournament and talk a little bit about uh, when the tournament is and what's going to be happening at this year's Women's World Cup because this is going to be different than uh, the previous Women's World Cups. This is going to be the biggest Women's World Cup of them all uh, coming up and uh, we're going to talk all about that here. And if you want to go over and read up even more about what the Women's World Cup will be like and uh, the betting odds and all the different aspects of the tournament, you can go over and read the blog that I posted just today. So check that out. And if you're watching here on YouTube, hit that sub subscribe button and stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System because we'll be tracking the FIFA World Cup, the Women's World Cup, come July and August. And also while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button, like the video, and go ahead and make a comment down below. Let us know what you think of Z Code system, the systems, the tools, and who you think is going to win the Women's World Cup coming up. Now, the Women's Tournament is going to be kicking off in July. As I said before, the tournament will be starting on July 20th and concluding on August the 20th with the final playing uh, this tournament this time around in Australia and New Zealand with nine cities uh, taking in the games. And as I said before, this is the biggest Women's World Cup of them all coming at us. And it's going to have 32 teams. So previous Women's World Cups, the, the, the previous one in um, 2019, had a total of 24 teams in that tournament. And during that time, the top two teams in each group progressed to the knockout stages, while the four best third place teams also progressed to the knockout stages. Now, this World Cup will be very different as we will see just the top two teams in each group progressing. And uh, we will have eight groups of four in this year's tournament. So very different uh, tournament in 2023 than what we had in 2019. Um, and it should be just as exciting. Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to pick having these additional teams added to the tournament. Uh, but one of the things that it will also likely do is it will dilute the tournament slightly uh, with the addition of teams, perhaps not necessarily teams that are as strong as the best women's teams in the world, such as the USA and England and the Netherlands, uh, we should see a little bit of a dilution, uh, a little bit uh, of the tournament being diluted um, when we see the Women's World Cup. Now, the Americans are the early favorites. Of course, they would be. Uh, the Americans are a four-time Women's World Cup winner. And they'll be going for their fifth trophy. They've won the last two Women's World Cups to 2015 and 2019 editions. Now, let's take a look at those outright better odds, those outright winner odds, I should say, for you to get an idea of what is going to be happening when the Women's World Cup kicks off in July. All right, so we are using Bet365, my favorite sports book. Of course, you probably have your own sports book that you prefer. Uh, this is just the one that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be showing you the odds for the tournament. So I'm just going to click on soccer and we are going to go to our outright markets. And as I say before on all of these soccer videos here on Z Code System, you've got so many great outright markets when it comes to soccer to bet on the outright winners of the various leagues and competitions. And uh, is one of my favorite markets to wager on, especially when it comes to big tournaments uh, last year's Euro Championships and the most recent World Cup, 2022 World Cup, which took place last November and December. Uh, if you were watching our Z Code videos, you would have known that I picked the outright winners from the start. And if you were following along, then you will you would have made some money off those bets as well. But of course, like I said, we're looking at the Women's World Cup and it's going to be under internationals. And we've got the Women's World Cup 2023 and only one market open right now because we do have some time uh, leading up to the tournament. And we've got the outright winners market. And as you can see there, we've got all 32 teams and there is a bit of a disparity in the odds for the favorite, the USA, and the uh, the team with the longest odds, the longest odds, I should say. And those are actually three teams, Haiti, Philippines, and Panama. And there is a 
uh, you know, compared to maybe the men's World Cup, you're going to see a bigger golf in class uh, in this tournament. The uh, the better teams should roll past those uh, those teams with the the longer odds because the women's World Cup, like I said before, we're going to see a, a bit of a uh, diluting in the in the quality due to the addition of the uh, the eight more teams. So just be aware of that when you're making your bets and when you're following along the tournament. Now the USA is the favorite at plus three hundred, but England is not too far away at plus three fifty. Now expect that to change potentially in the uh, build up to the tournament in the next couple of months. But if you want to lock in your odds right now, those are some good odds uh, for the USA because you know what that might sl- um, shorten as we get closer to the tournament and as uh, the USA gets stronger and stronger with the tournament uh, coming up. Now, like I said before, the USA have won the last two Women's World Cups, but England are on the rise as a women's national team. A very strong domestic league uh, that uh, that England has for women's football. And women, uh, the women's team in England are coming off of winning the European Championships last summer, uh, the summer of 2022, which was their first major trophy. So definitely this could be a tournament where we see the USA and England really uh, fight it out for uh, supremacy in the women's game. But you got teams such as Spain and Germany, France, Australia, Sweden, Netherlands, uh, Brazil, Japan, and Canada, all very strong women's teams. Now, I would probably say once you get past Norway, there is a bit of a dip in the women's game, uh, in quality, I should say, in those national teams. I think those top, uh, I guess the top 12 teams are probably the strongest out of all the women's teams at this year's uh, World Cup or the, the upcoming World Cup. And once it gets to Norway, you're going to see a bit of a drop-off. Um, with the Spanish team, it should be noted that there's been some issues uh, with the Spanish Football Association and and the women's players. So there could be some uh, problems leading up to the tournament. There, the coaching staff and the players have been a bit at odds. Uh, but again, we could see that change by the time the tournament kicks off in July. Uh, France having a bit of a shakeup necessarily, or excuse me, a shakeup in uh, the women's national team there. So we could see you know, the French having maybe a bit of a weaker tournament this year. Now, the last Women's World Cup was in France, uh, and France not able to lift the trophy on home soil. The USA did do that uh, in a, an exciting tournament. And as I've said before, the women's game continues to grow from tournament to tournament, and this should be the biggest in terms of not only the, the number of teams at the World Cup, but the, the amount of betting that's on the tournament, the amount of coverage that's on the tournament, and uh, the number of people watching the tournament. Now, I think the only problem that we're going to have for a lot of people for this World Cup is that it is going to be held in Australia and New Zealand, and uh, the kickoff times and, and the matches may not line up necessarily with uh, a lot of people, especially in the U.S., where the women's game is, is very strong, where it has a big fan base. Americans love their one-off events uh so you know could have uh, a bit of a uh you know that could be an issue just the the games going on down under uh in australia and new zealand and keeping in mind that uh the tournament will take place in the the winter late excuse me the the late winter early spring in australia new zealand so keep in mind that that could play a a part in the tournament and uh, also the travel uh, teams going down to play in Australia, New Zealand for a four week tournament. So uh, very exciting, though, that the women's tournament is coming up. And uh, we want to get these this video out and the blog out now to give you guys the chance to learn all about the Women's World Cup coming up. And also, if you see there that uh, you know a team that you like already, go ahead and lock in your odds because there's a good chance like your favorites, the USA and England are going to get shorter uh, as the tournament gets closer. Uh, keep in mind also that the USA's women will be in the middle of their domestic season uh, when the World Cup takes place in Australia, New Zealand, while uh, teams such as England, Spain, Germany, France, the European teams will be during the off season. So that could also play a factor in the upcoming tournament. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here on Z Code System for our latest video talking about the Women's World Cup. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as I said before, hit that subscription button, the subscribe button, uh, so you can stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. And also, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, stay up to date on everything we do. Comment below, 
and read the blogs over at the Z Code system. And if you haven't signed up, go on over and sign up today so you get all the access to the tools that we have as Z Code system. Now, guys, have a great day, and I will see you soon here on Z Code system on YouTube.